Hi everybody. So um, I um, just got the Simply Charmed cartridge today in the mail and I am so super excited to finally have this cartridge. Um, I have to tell you this is probably my all time favorite, favorite, favorite cartridge ever. Um, I know every time we get a new cartridge we're like, oh my gosh, this is my favorite. But seriously, this one is my all time fave. Um, there's just so much stuff packed on this cartridge. Um, and I just absolutely love the cute little faces on here and everything. It's just so, so friggin' cute. So, I got this, and I wanted to get some stamps to go along with it. So, um, I actually stumbled upon these stamps, and these are by a company called Pink by Design. And, um, here's the packaging for it. This set is called Simply Everything, and you can go over to um, pinkcricket.com. You guys can see that. I'll put a link, or I'll put a, I'll put it down in the description. Um, but they have a bunch of different stamps that go with your different Cricut cartridges. Um, I know Scrappy Moms have a few sets, and I probably will get their uh, Charmed Life set as well to go with this cartridge because it's my fave. Um, and there's a few other of theirs that I would like to get, but I stumbled across these and I really wanted them. So I went, I went ahead and got these first. Um, but there's a ton of stuff. A Little Birdie Told Me, Great Catch, You Color My World. Um, I love this one. It says Hot Diggity Dog. Um, I've already used that one. Um, on, But I'll probably do a video for you guys using that one too. Um, Heart of Gold. Hippity Hoppity Happy, A Cut Above the Rest, um, Happy Fall Y'all, um, Fishing You a Happy Birthday, Dropping You a Line. I have to show you a card that I just made using that, Dropping You a Line. <laughs> so I did the little fish with the little uh, fishing pole, and it, this is my stamp right here. And I used glossy accents and made a few little bubbles. Um, I'm not going to touch them because they're wet. but um, And then I also used my Kiwi Lane... Um, card templates to make this little swervy line um, but I just love that fish isn't he so stinking cute I love him oh I just want to squeeze him he's so cute um, so yeah that's my card with that um, but today we're going to be using the um, popsicle and I'm gonna assemble it with you guys and just show you how easily this cartridge um, you know goes together it's a lot like create a critter there's nice big pieces for you to uh, layer so you're not like fumbling with tiny pieces um, I, I do have to tell you though that fishing pole was pretty friggin tiny and I did have to fumble a little bit with that but it wasn't too bad okay so these are um, my pieces for my popsicle and I am going to go ahead and um, ink around my popsicle. I have this um, Ladybug Red Memento ink, but I don't want a really harsh line. I want a really soft, subtle line. So what I do is um, I get these little makeup sponges, and these work really well for this type of thing. So I'm just going to get my scissors here and cut this because I, I don't have one cut already. And I usually cut mine into fourths, and then I'll keep those, keep the rest of those for different colors. Um, and then I'll just dip this on my ink pad, and then I will go around like that. So it's a very subtle um, difference, but I like that rather than having a harsh line of ink on here. So that's just a little tip for you guys. If you guys don't have like the little daubers or ink applicators or whatever, you can just do that. And then there's this little um, drip as well that I'm going to ink up so that it matches. Because our little popsicle is melty. Okay, so there's that. And then I'll just keep those together. Um, so really quick, I'm just going to go ahead and layer these. So this one, um, 
Uh, sorry guys, my ATG is messing up because, of course, I'm on camera. Um, but this one layers on the top of this little black piece that's right here. And that way, you know, his face and everything is, his eyes and his mouth are black. And I cut this out at four inches, in case you guys were wondering. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this onto our um, kind of tannish piece of, for our popsicle stick. I just refilled my ATG so it's kind of like really smooth. And this part of my cut got kind of messed up because this paper is thinner than these other two. But it's okay because we're going to cover it up anyways. Okay, so we just line that up. And there's our little popsicle. And then, of course, it wouldn't be simply charmed without the little cheeks. If I can pick them up. Okay, so I'm going to get my zig. And there are the little notches in here that show you where they go. I just love whoever created this and created Critter was just amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, so there's that. And then um, I always like to, on the cheeks of these guys, I like to do little white dots. It just gives a little bit more character. And then I'm also <laughs> going to give him or her or whatever some eyebrows. I just think it really just adds a little something to them. I just, I don't know. I like eyebrows. <laughs> I think it's way cute with eyebrows. Okay, so then um, we have, I'll move that aside for a minute. Um, we have all of our card pieces. So um, this is my card base and it's a four and a half, a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card and I um, I cut it, or I folded it um, this way instead of normally I would do it the other way um, and then this is the base and I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down so see this paper wasn't actually a full paper but I it still worked because it's still just enough to have my edge around there. So, anyways. So there's going to be a little white edge around everything. And then I also have this little um, blue paper. And I need to ink around it. Because <laughs> it's going to bother me if I don't. This top and bottom edge are a lot lighter. And you can see the white core of the paper so I just want to cover that up I'm not really trying to distress it or anything like that but okay and then I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere that down to my card and I'm gonna put it right in the middle of my card I don't know if that's exactly centered but um, this paper that I'm using I <laughs> I put it upside down oh no okay, so my card's not gonna be very happy but I wasn't paying attention and um, I believe these are actually supposed to be like raindrops this is from a paper from my mind's eye and I think it's actually supposed to be rain because on one of the other papers in the collection there's little umbrellas. But because they were different colors, I thought they looked like um, like a popsicle drip. Kind of like what we've got here. So I thought that would go well. Okay, now I can put this paper down. Okay. Sorry about and that. And then guys. all we need to do 
is put our popsicle on and before we do that I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment and I'm going to use this you melt my heart right here sorry I don't know if you guys can see that um, but I just think that's such a cute little sentiment and trying to decide I think I am just going to go ahead and do it in black ink and I'm going to use Memento ink because it just happens to be the one that I have right here I've been having issues with my Memento ink I don't know what is going on maybe I just need to refill my re refill it with ink or something but it's been really splotchy lately and I'm not happy with it because I haven't even had it that long or even used it that long okay so that didn't work out perfectly and I know that it's my ink pad it's not my stamp so don't be skeptical about the stamps because mine didn't work because I know for a fact that it is my ink because it's going dry okay and I got a little bit of black all over him no. try and cover it up with the red ink <laughs> okay and I just got more all over him okay I'm gonna quit touching him for a minute okay then we're gonna get our um, what is this called dimensional adhesive and stick it on here and I'm going to put a little bit down here Oops. on the stick and then I'll go ahead and put that piece there and this this um, adhesive that I'm using is like I think it's from Elmer's or something I just I got it at Walmart works pretty well it's nice and thin like the scotch adhesive that I like so okay so I'm going to put him right there and then I'm gonna pop this up also so I'm just gonna cut a little tiny piece I think I'm going to put that right there. Okay, so there is our card for today. Ignore all these little black spots. That's my fault. I have ink all over my hands. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And go check out Simply Charmed and PinkCricket.com for those stamps. Or also Scrappy Mom stamps. Um, has some really cute ones. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!